Okay, ladies, in true fashion, several of you have mentioned that when we are, like when I'm doing my videos, you feel like you're talking to me. Well, right now you're literally talking to me. How's that zoom from my mouth? Um, I wanted to show you guys real quick. I am still in my mom pants, literally. They're coffee, little coffee things, mugs. I got them at Walmart like, I don't know, two, three years ago, and I still wear these damn things. My cheap ass flip flops because that's how I roll. And we're here sitting down. The kids just left, so the two younger boys, Taylor, my oldest, came and surprised me for Mother's Day. So he is upstairs sleeping, which is a weird but awesome feeling that he's home. Um, my daughter just dropped off her boyfriend, Theron. So in case you hear the dogs go crazy, because now I've got them laying in the house. This is what life looks like. Water, because I'm trying to do my three waters a day. The black certainly is the coffee. There's our 110 pound dog. She only looks sweet right now. Don't pay attention, it's a lie. And then right along there, we got Mr. Weenie Dog Zeppelin. So there I am. I wanna walk you through what my Franklin Colby this week looks like. So I am, I've got you on the O-ring again. I, I should take a picture of this when I'm done at the setup, but it's gonna work for us. I've got airplane mode, so we shouldn't get disturbed. And let's dive in. Okay, so Tyler Binder is still very much getting used. Um, it's starting to get some imperfections on it, not scratches, but just kind of um, indentions, if you will. But it's because I literally have it in my purse. And you guys know, like, I don't really coddle my planners. And the ones that would need coddling, I just don't use. I keep them on a shelf, as weird as that sounds. But the planner world, you guys understand. Um, a few things that you're going to notice here for this week. So I took some things out. I took out the grid that I had of like task grid and then the list of things I need to put together for my buyer and seller folders. Um, I had two Ollie clips there. So last week I had two, today I only have one. And I will, maybe another great idea is I'll take pictures of what is different in this picture from the week before and then maybe do fun contests. But anyways, that's an out loud thought. I have, I added a couple notepads. So I don't put the entire notepad. I only use a few sheets because since this is something that I carry with me all day, it means I'm also carrying it at home so I can refill things. I have these like leftover Samantha Root, your realtor post-its that I forgot about. So I have like three or four in there that I put. Cause I'm like, you know what? I probably need to start using these damn things. So there they are, still very much keeping up with the Post-it Note brand tabs. Those are working really great, so there was no need to replace those. Potentially, I might remove one or the other from these. I still think it's nice to have something that's a little bit larger than the largest one that I have that's still fairly small, okay? Um, so that is what I took out. The check registers, I took those out last week already, so you guys are aware of that. But if you didn't pop in since a couple weeks ago, I took those out. I need to add them into the personal Moterm planner. Um, I still have the, the Pilot G207 right here, and then I have the Sharpie highlighter over here. So nothing fancy. Those of you that watched my video about the mild liners, that is why I'm using the Sharpie brand. I'm just staying away from mild liner for right now. The very first thing you see, and I'm on the fence, ladies, I'd love maybe a pinion. It's not a break, a make or break, I guess for me, but I'm using this kind of in essence as almost like a dashboard, but not a dashboard because it's functioning. So maybe we call it a functioning dashboard. Um, but I have my daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly task cards that I made using my laminating machine. So it's literally just laminated paper, the label maker, and happy planner stickers, okay? Um, this sounds really stupid, but I'm quite excited about this. So I, in my personal Moterm, I keep a fortune cookie paper that I've kept literally for years. And then this one I had earlier this year and I decided to keep it because it was during a space of just a lot going on. So doors will be opening in many areas of your life. But look at this, it fits. There's these tiny little areas. Look, I put the fortune cookie there. And so then what I decided is to get a little smart since I was tucking things in last night and went ahead and put my license information behind the quarterly. I'm going to put my Texas one. So the Texas license that I have, I'm gonna do same view and then go ahead and put it right back here. So that's what I've got there. Um, review and pay. 
So review and pay bills. This folder is still, it's going to be ongoing. So this will always have stuff in it. Uh, the cards that I need for Hayden stuff going on right here, those are just not going to go out there. The very first thing I look at, A, it reminds me of my son. B, it reminds me who I need to contact in case of just anything. And that's why they're staying. The logins and the password page, I did create a template um, this weekend that I'm going to print and I'm going to fill it out. So this week, 100% these passwords are going to be done. Thanks to you ladies, because I was like, what the hell, Samantha? You keep showing that week over week, the damn stupid paper. So we're going to get that in check. Um, to be mailed. So to be mailed stuff, nothing in there yet, but tomorrow there will be some envelopes I need to put in because I've got to take care of some bills um, in here. So you need to hop on the Facebook channel like or the Facebook group. So it's going to be under Samantha Root, Mompreneur, Mompreneur, Samantha Root, something like that. But you're going to crack up. So I want to show you this on purpose this way. Okay, so take just a good look at that. Take a good look where this blue pen is. Okay, and you go look and you're gonna crack up. I found these small little whiteouts. They're called Ecolutions. I found them at Target. I think I mentioned them the other day. Look how tiny they are. So I've got my white, uh, my whiteout tape runner. Burt's Bees, I always carry that shit with me everywhere. Um, something I added was the, remember how I bought that card thing in my D stash or in my stashing? I put the real estate cards. I very intentional put the five. I was gonna fill up the rest with the card and thought to myself, you know what would be awesome is the people that I refer on a regular basis when I'm out doing one-on-ones. It'd be so cool to be able to have their card so I can hand them out because I'm constantly saying, oh, I'll forward you their info. Well, why not just have the information on hand? So I've got enough slots to go ahead and do that, um, which would be would give me one, two, three, four, five. So five of mine, five of theirs. And then this has an extra pocket. Not planning on really using this for anything right now. I have buyer and seller brochures that are like a trifold. I might try to tuck one in there. I haven't even gotten there, y'all. So let's just do baby steps. Monthly. So we're going to hop right into the monthly. Um, so Jen does have her closing um, this week. So Wednesday, one closing and then Thursday, the next closing, cause she's selling a current one and buying a new one. Um, I've got still my personal stuff right here. Okay. You guys, thank you for those of you that told me where the damn 30 and 31 were because I was lost. Um, so I had originally put it over here, May 31st Memorial day thinking, okay, well the 30th isn't going to be important, but the 31st is well, they're up here. So I decided to get perfectly imperfect today and do something crazy. Look at that. So last night I put the arrow, used pen, walk that bitch on up over here, right? And I'm so proud of myself. I'm like, you know what? My normal OCD self would have been so stuck and not known what to do to what to do because then it's gonna screw it all up and the pretty look and whatever. Hell no, I just made it functional because I'm trying to make this thing functional. So the tabs that I had last week of Jen's closing and Jen's closing, remember, I use these tabs in case I need to move a date around and didn't want to mark the planner. However, the great news is that now that they are 100% solid, we've signed already preliminary docs, then I took those off. I threw them away yesterday, so decluttered. And then I have Hayden's counseling, and I've just got some important National Brother Day that's important for me, so I can wish my brothers prayer. Hayden and Michael continue to be the ones in my prayers. Book, so the physical book that I need to be working on is called Shift. And the Audible is highlighted. Do you see that sucker is highlighted? Yes, ma'am. The Power of Positive Thinking. I finished that this weekend. I am so damn excited. Back on the train. June so far doesn't have anything super crazy. I just need to follow up with the neighborhood um, on June 1st. But other than that, nothing worth showing this week. Um, I am starting to dive into the weekly. So the weekly tab, I did start doing. Uh, something I added, so this little tab right here. So I used one of my post-it, the smaller rectangle tabs, the page flags. If you guys use like planner press or cloth and paper, whatever, or any other like store, it's those, but these are post-it note ones. Um, I had so many of those tags, like the planner press ones and the cloth and paper. You guys, I don't know if it's the heat out here in Arizona, but in the shipping, the adhesive gets so sticky that they're ruined. So the post-it notes are the ones that are best suited for me. Um, okay, so weekly compass card. I decided to 
not keep the compass card here like I had been for those two weeks, but I also didn't want it getting lost right here. So I figured it's daily. It's hard enough for me to move this damn tab thing every day, like not complicated, but I think during the week when I'm looking at my weekly review, it's fair to see my compass of what I want to accomplish. So the compass card, things that I put on the compass card for this week is physical. I need to do gym more days than not because I carb loaded this last week and I'm back on keto 100%. So my keto coffee, we're going back in turbo mode. I will need to add a link to, I found this uh, Pinterest pin and actually, if you guys have Pinterest, follow me. I'll put my Pinterest board. Um, it's called Keto Coffee, but I learned how to make creamers. And so last night I made four creamers in my fridge. One is the almond one, which is the one I have today. Keto friendly um, is keto actually. And let me not say friendly, keto. And um, I did a vanilla almond um, cinnamon. I did a the cacao powder, so basically chocolate and almond um, and vanilla. And then I did a just a plain vanilla and I've got lavender extract coming because I'm gonna do a lavender vanilla creamer. I'm super excited, but anyways, okay. So uh, physical, gym more days than not, social and emotional. I need to start journaling gratitude. So I found one of my really old journals. I was cleaning out the boys closet uh, yesterday and I just need to get back into that because my soul and my heart just kind of need some I can tell that there's stuff just stirring up in my mind. My heart's ruckusing up. So journaling gratitude. Mental. So this week on either Tuesday or Wednesday, um, I've got Andrea. She's my psychiatrist. I've got my call with her just to get um, a renewal of my medication and just check in with her and let her know how everything is going now that the dust is settling a little bit on Hayden's um, program and he's there and he's safe and all that good stuff. Spiritual. So watch Church Sunday. So I listen to the... Um, a church podcast, usually on but some day between Monday and Wednesday, but this time I actually want to start just watching it on TV. I like on the, they do like a live on YouTube or whatever. So I need to do that. I think I'm ready to start kind of balancing myself out and actually start getting back into churches on Sunday. That's what works for me, ladies. I'm not judging one way or the other. Okay. This is my compass card role. So as a realtor, I need action enough for one contract for my buyer. So there's a square. So you'll notice there's a little square. And then I did schedule a listing call. I need to do another one. I need to stay on target for my goals. The other role of mine is mom. So I want to work, turn off this, turn back off. Do you see this shit? I can't even, Anna, get them to hush. I'm doing my YouTube recording. Okay. Um, so turn off work from five to seven more days than not. So five to 7 PM, I was specific, right? I need to start doing that more days than not. I'm not committing to that every day cause I'm in real estate y'all. And sometimes that's when we're negotiating contracts or having to answer questions for clients, but myself, I put a heart cause I'm supposed to be mattering in life, right? Um, without guilt, do four things at the top. So my four things without guilt, I need to not give a shit, like feel bad about that, okay? Nothing wrong in self-care. So there's the compass card, May 10th through the 16th. So again, if you're new to my channel, you guys, I'm literally showing you my real deal planner. I don't filter, I don't post it over things. So if you steal my information or anything, dude, take all the bills that come with it and all the shit show that comes with it. And I promise there's a lot. If you follow me anywhere else on social media, you'll realize you probably don't want to steal it. You'd probably give it back. But anyways, things. So color coordinating. So we're still sticking with the color coordinating. And I brought this out because I want to show you. So I have still my task on purpose. If you go look at Facebook, there's a reason why work is blue. And there's also a black one this week. That is something different. Not necessarily on purpose. But there are the cards, the colors. Okay. So it's following exactly that. That blue is work. But do you notice I have some black on purpose? If you go to Facebook, you'll understand. And then I've got my personal stuff. So my son came and surprised me for Mother's Day, Taylor, yesterday. So he goes home Tuesday. So I added that yesterday night. Um, Hayden's got counseling. I've got work stuff right there. And then uh, just personal day work. Now, this tab. So I added the tab. I want to show you guys. It says week. The reason I did that is I was finding myself yesterday, just yesterday alone, not even trying to use it from a functionality during the week. I went here and then I was like, oh God, I was scrolling through and scrolling through another paper. So took out the extra paper that was from the previous week, 
but just said, you know what, I want to have a clear, quick reference. So when you're, I'm looking, I can see that it says week, and then I can just pull that sucker up, and there we are. Okay? So that is what this tab is meant for. Nothing in June yet. I'm not even there. I'm not even there for next week. Um, I'm focused on just this week. Today is going to be a huge day. I wanted to show you guys this in True Point as well. And I don't know if we do an episode of y'all let me know if you think that, that would be good actually. My thought is this because I am going through like the previous week and I'm looking back on what did I not do, right? And there's X's, you guys, X's in places like I didn't do scripture there. Guess what happens? Big ass X because I didn't do it. Like, you know, I needed to carry things over, right? I did that. But another X, another X, another X, another X. Like this is real life planner. Perfect. I just, I'm start. It just doesn't really happen. You guys like no spend Starbucks. That was not, I spent all damn week on that. Didn't do scripture missing right there. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if we do an episode where I show you really what it looks like because I don't know. It makes a difference, you know, because it's messy. So today I wanted to show you guys very much on purpose what I did because I, I screwed this one up not meaning to. So I was writing down on the weeklies, like all the personal stuff, right? Updating. And then all of a sudden I was like, holy hell, I wrote my color coordinating, right? My personal color I used for work stuff. So what did I do? I took the black pen, I scribbled, literally scribbled through because then I updated it in the different color. Yes, it looks in my brain a little ugly, but I was like, you know what, honestly, what is more effective looking at it as a personal task or is my brain am i trying to train myself to know the difference in the colors and the answer was the colors and i said to hell with it right f it um so what i did was i and i wanted to show you this so find my dang blue pen again go to social media you'll get a chuckle today so there it is i can highlight that off youtube post this week that is literally what i'm doing right now I've got my priorities that I need to get done. One of them is actually an A plus priority. I got to get this one quickly. Water is on there, gym, because again, keto, you know me, I go into like keto full blow so I can get ketosis sooner than later. I'm gonna be doing my scripture right after this video. Things to buy today. So um, I've got the post-it just for things that I need to buy. I'm taking Tay and Anna with me to run a couple errands. There's a couple things I need to price out. Yes, tanning lotion is one of them because I've been tanning to get these damn white legs under control. And then Dish versus the Hulu and Netflix because Patrick's buying a shit ton of movies and by the time we're spending the amount of on movies we are, I might buy Dish again. So we'll see, that's on a task. Um, 5.30 to 6.30 Hayden's got counseling. So that is in my self care because that is a form of self care for me. Um, slash personal. Um, I've got my May goals, so today's tab. What I did, because I updated on my computer one, the wheat colors. Wheat colors for this week are gonna look different. So next week it might look exactly this, or I might go back to the blue, right? So I updated that, so I carry that every day. The extra Ollie clip is actually attached right there. Da -da -da! I've got the quadrant, so the things I had in the front, I moved over because I actually need to start doing something with them. So I'm planning on typing this up. I'm planning on using this weekly. And then the documents needed, I need to start just revising my checklist and get that done. So it's on here for today. It might carry over tomorrow or it might carry over Wednesday or personal day Thursday, or it might carry over on Friday. Who knows? That's why it's on the Ollie clip. That's why it's not a hard task on here. But I have Kent um, is my son's probation officer. I've got to get an update from him. So I carried this over because in looking at what I needed to carry, I didn't follow up last week on Thursday. So I brought that over today. Post como comprar casa image. Y'all, this tab is proven to be awesome. So I'm just popping it over every day to remember to do the social media. So that one has been carrying over since last week. And the sticky on the post-it is still very much adhesive and awesome okay so that's for today now later this week i'm still highlighting quotes today's quote is a society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in 
um, Tuesday. So Tuesday, Taylor goes home. I've done admin time. I've done drive time. I have some one-on-one -on -one appointments this week, but you need drive time, guys. Remember, like when you're booking in your regular um, like phone calendar, but when you're booking on paper too, Gordon Parkman, he's a business coach. One of my, honestly, guys, a mentor beyond. Um, Achieve Results Consulting is the name of his company. And several years ago, he did a presentation for one of my networking groups and he encouraged us, don't just put the hour meeting. How long is it gonna take you to get there? And how long is it gonna take you to get back or go where you're going next? Block that time. And so I block the time. Orange, according to color coordinating, is miscellaneous. Driving is miscellaneous, so it went into orange. Um, I've got Jacqueline's call to go over our budget at 145 on Tuesday. I usually, I put till three because I need 15 minute window because that way I can wrap stuff up. I can write things down if we go over our call a little bit, whatever. Um, scripture is going to be in the daily tracker section every day this week. Again, I will see how many days I do. Last week, I believe I did three. So we're slowly but surely chugging and getting it to form itself on a daily perspective. Um, I've got just, as of right now, I only have A stuff. Like I shared in a lot of videos share with you guys, the point is let's get the stuff on for the week that we know as of Sunday, for example. I do mine, yesterday I did mine Sunday at like nine o'clock, 9.30 at night. Sometimes I do Sunday at noon. Sometimes I start Saturday, then go to Sunday. Whatever you're gonna do, the bottom line point is get your shit out there, right? Like write down the basics because as you're going through the week, shit's gonna naturally come up. So you're gonna add or it's gonna cancel or whatever, but we need to have the, the skeleton, if you will, done and created. So that's what it looks like. Wednesday as of right now, I've got a BNI call. Um, I've got the house closing for Jen. So I'm matching the house that I had on the monthly with these cute ones. Bloom is the one that I used. I talked to you guys about her last week. And her code is IG Love. If you go on her actual website, not Etsy, but you can get those. Um, she has all kinds of cute stickers. But anyway, so I'm using those. Red Day Volunteering. So Keller Williams does a volunteer initiative. I'm super excited, you guys. This is my first one this year to get to truly do hands on. I'm so thrilled. So Red Day is going to be volunteering um, on Wednesday. And then I have one-on-one -on -one at 315. So as of right now, only work stuff so far. I've got scripture. I don't have priorities yet because I don't know what the hell I'm going to need to do, right? Monday and Tuesday are going to be telling of that. Um, Thursday is still going to be my personal day, but I still have the other house. Jen's closing. And then I need to get pictures of Remy and Post, our big dog. Yes, you guys, very long story, but it's time we find her a home. She needs somebody that can actually like have space that she can run around. Her breed digs like a mad woman and we are just not that family. So that's me again, being very honest. People can judge if they want to judge. I really don't give a shit. We've done everything to try to make it work. And even a trainer that specializes in the breed feels that she would be awesome with somebody that has land or can take her back and forth. So hence why the pictures of Remy and a post, I need to start working on that. The trainer's even going to try to help me find a great family that has another uh, dog of her breed because hopefully she would do excellent with that. Um, this week to clean. So there's still stuff that I need to clean. Have you noticed this damn thing has been going for two weeks and not a single one is done? Pick up playroom, kind of half-ass has, but I for sure didn't add clean the boys' room and organize their spring clothes, summer clothes, all of that gaka. I did that yesterday, you guys. I worked on it, decluttered their closet, um, got an entire large laundry basket of clothes folded up, washed, so I can go and donate those to a nonprofit, which I am super excited about. So you will see that that will fall somewhere along this week. Friday, the only thing I have is I'm doing a Zoom call with somebody from a previous BNI group. So I put that down, black pen, get a chuckle, Facebook, follow, Instagram, right? Okay, scripture. So that's what I have. So the point is Monday, I'm super busy because I knew this was what I was walking into today. Tuesday's still a little bit busy because I still have a pretty damn good idea what's going to go on. Wednesday still busy, but starting to thin out. Thursday thinning out. Friday beyond thin. Okay? So, I, but I want you guys to see it. Saturday, I've got the meal planning um, and groceries. I did that this weekend and that actually worked perfect. Where I meal prep Saturday. I ordered the groceries yesterday, but I still put it Saturday to see if I carry the grocery ordering 
the following or if I'm going to start Sunday to Sunday on our meal plan because by Saturday we start spending like a shit ton of money because Sunday we didn't have anything to eat. So I'm trying to figure out how we can save between the coupons and the uh, just the meal plan budget um, and then do a blog post. I'm going to attempt to start working on my blog post again. I am. I just I'm going to tell y'all because you're straight up like on my I don't know. We've all become friends. I feel like um, I'm writing a book and I started working on it more in the airplane. It's all finally starting to come together. It is not going to be like a hundred page book. You guys, it's probably going to be somewhere between 30 and 35 pages maybe. It's my first stab at this thing, um, but I'm working on that. So I'm, you're going to start seeing that there's going to be some tasks for the book. And I can't say I'm excited, but it definitely is a, a God project. And that's what I'm going to be working on. So in the meantime, trying to sharpen up my skills again of blogging. I used to blog for nine years. I blogged every Sunday and I'm trying to get back into it. Okay, so Saturday. Sunday, right now, watch church. Because remember, that was one of my sharpen the, the saw tasks on my compass card. So watching church is on there and it's an A priority. So that's what I have. Monday, nothing. You guys, I'm staying one week at a time. I'm not getting ahead of myself because that's what I need to do. What I found last week that was helpful is right around Wednesday or Thursday, um, I start kind of glancing at my week to get an idea. But anything I book from today on that is going to be an appointment on my calendar, phone, Zoom, anything, right? Or a task, now I'll start adding. So if I know that it's for next week, I'll start adding that in. If it's something that needs to happen in June or a, a commitment point, if you will, that's what these post-its are for. Get a post-it, add it to you know the end of the month, add it to the monthly calendar, add it somewhere where you're gonna be able to see it and know, okay, I don't have to do anything with it today, but I'm gonna need to do shit with it on another day. But we still can't forget that we committed to do it or that we need to, right? So goals tab, not a damn thing in goals today. Projects, not a damn thing there. Wellness, so wellness, I am health log. So I added this on there um, last week. So again, I wanna be very transparent with you ladies, right? Like I've been honest about this shit. So I'm trying to learn new things. So this was May 4th. So last week I did 60 minutes at Planet Fitness on Monday. You would never know what the hell I did and not do. I went three times, you wouldn't know. My steps, 7,028 on Monday. The rest of the week, you wouldn't know that I did all my damn steps, right? Mon Monday, I did the Holy Bible app and I pre-planned for tomorrow. Holy Bible app and pre-planned for tomorrow. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You would think I didn't do shit. I actually did. Not 100%, but I did. What does this show me? Monday and Tuesday. Monday I did two cups. Tuesday I did four. What the hell else did I do? Do you get my point? Like, but this shows me this is good. So I didn't do perfect. I am doing okay, right? This was the week before, right? So I'm, I'm progress, not perfection. So what will happen is I'm gonna add more health sheets for this week and let's see if I do better, right? We'll compare week over week. This is what we need to do, ladies. Let's not get boggled down and oh shit, I wasted paper or oh God, I didn't, oh my God, I'm horrible. Like, let's just not even get caught up in all that. Just progress, not perfection. So week over week, our planning should look more effective in my opinion. Week over week, the shit we say matters should start looking like it's getting somewhere and it's being accomplished. If we fall short, what do we need to do different? Like in this case, okay, do I need, for example, do I need to move my wellness up front? Do I need to put a reminder in my phone? Do I need to maybe, instead of making it polite and, you know, put this damn bullshit like that so it pops out and you can't miss the damn thing? I don't know. Like week over week, we get to figure out what's going to work and not. Passwords, I still don't have those like I told you, but I'll have those inserts this week. Um, now that I've made the template client file, I don't have anything there except for the handmade notes that I've done along the way. Um, note section, still using this note section. Any paper that has notes that I still needed to keep, I moved over. I talked about that a couple weeks ago. So I just carry them over. And then the grocery list still has some numbers and things that I needed for Jacqueline. So I kept that. And to see how much I damn spend on Starbucks last week was disastrous. Not even like 
uh, I wanted to hide, like I wanna run away from Jacqueline because I'm like, oh God, I have to justify that I spent like a shit ton. The house stickers I added in here. So Bloom Paper Studio, um, these are cloth and paper, just their tabs. I still haven't used them. I put them in there like I was gonna use them. I haven't used them yet, but there they are, the house ones I have. And then in the back, I still have the page protector, back are postage stamps. Um, I've got my affirmations. You guys, these are from the content planner. I told you I had them in my backpack and I wasn't doing anything with them yet. They're those cameras. Um, I tried using them. They honestly, they're cute for decoration. They suck for functionality. They just are not, um, they just don't hold the paper down like I needed them to. So the shit was falling off and it was looking sloppy. I was trying to be all cutesy for y'all and Instagram, that doesn't work. So still wanted to keep them for decoration. So there they are, postage stamps. That is what the Tyler binder looks like this week. That is what I have. Um, I don't know if those are, if you guys have Tyler binder, if you tried, okay. So this thing literally you guys is so heavy. Like I am, I'm using it so it is actually heavy. When I opened this Tyler binder yesterday, I did notice that it's starting to have a little bit of a gap right here. Um, it's not ripped off. Like it's not at all. It doesn't look like it's going to, but it definitely is looser on that side than it is on this side. This one, it's not tilting, angling, but we'll keep an eye on that, right? Uh, I don't know that if you were to get this binder, you're gonna be stacking it as heavy as I am. I'm literally using this for my catch-all be-all. It's like a personal assistant without paying someone, if you will. We do pay with the fucking inserts, but whatever. Um, so anyway, so there's that gap, but nothing, nothing that I need to call customer care on or anything yet. So that is what I have on the Tyler binder. Um, actually, I need to add that blue pen back in so that we don't have it, the same story happen next week. And then what I am going to do, I am doing a completely separate video. I will do a an as I go. You guys, this is the Moterm personal that I've been using looking chunky because I have all kinds of, look, I mean, literally this is real life, right? Like, oh, I'm getting organized, blah, blah, blah. Hell no, I got the new dividers. I haven't updated those yet. I have the inserts that I need to blow up a little bit bigger because this gaps are too small. I need to file, like, do you see what I'm saying? Like I got all this shit. So I will literally do a live time probably tomorrow or Thursday and show just how I'm gonna clean through this mess and get myself back on track. So. With that said, if you guys are Hispanic or as of the Latin culture, um, any of y'all that are moms, happy Mother's Day yesterday, but that also means fur babies, like just anything that you do that is more of a maternal role, I just want to thank you guys for being rock stars. If you're a mom and just to love ones that you're not biologically, right? Or you're taking on a presence, whatever. Like that's awesome, kick ass, take names with that, celebrate it. The Latin community today, I, I literally, as soon as I'm done, I need to, I'm gonna call my mom. It's uh, Dia de las Mamas, Mother's Day in Mexico and other Latin countries. So, Feliz Dia de las Madres, Happy Mother's Day. Thank you guys, today is an extra long video, but like I said, I wanted to hop in, let you see the shit for what it is, and I'm gonna keep drinking my water, and I'm going to, look, I'm almost done. So, water but I'm certainly drinking my keto coffee with almond cream. And uh, with that said, love you, see you. If you want me to talk about anything in particular at all, life, marriage, kids, depression, anxiety, struggles, um, work strategy, how to be kick-ass and take names and the working market, um, branding, whatever it is, let me know. I'd love to talk about it, bye.